well. Who the goddamn hell do you think you are? I know I may not look it, but I am the sheriff of this yon fire town. Oh, and how we do like our fire. So, what brings you to these fiery parts? You're here on a bounty, you say? Well, we know a lot about bounties in this town. However, you don't look like you're from here, soldier. You look all a little funny. Where did you say you're from? Oh, you're from a different universe. Well, that makes a whole lot of sense. What was this bounty you've come here to collect anyway? Oh, it's a sound bounty. Well, we don't know much about that around here, so you're going to have to explain. So you just travel to different universes and record sound effects? Well, what universe did you say you're from? Universe one, you say? Well, why universe? Is the fire dimension then? Seven seven eight eight six zero oh, three. Wow. You must have come a hell of a long way to just get some sound. Anyway, that's enough of messing with my tassels. What did you want again? Oh, that's right. Sound effects. Well, let me have a look what I got. It may be just kind of fire related, but what do you expect? Coming from a hothead like me. Right, let's begin then. I have for you today maybe a little bit of something to kickstart the fire. We call this round here Go Go Juice. When this shit hits a spark, man, you be running. It makes you go from zero to 60. In single horsepower, if you know what I mean. Anyway, enough of my rambling. Hear the sounds. Now, does this sound good to you? Cause I ain't got a goddamn clue. Some stranger shows up here. Wanting sounds. He ain't even surprised I'm goddamn made of fire. But I respect that. Never judge a man by how it looks. Go off his flamey character.
Now I gotta say, the arrival of you has worried me slightly. Now I know that anyone can just show up in any dimension. Imagine if someone from a water dimension were to come here, man. That would be total chaos. Anyway, I think you've heard enough of that. You want another sound, you say? Well, just give me one second. Every so often, I just like to... You know, look at a bit of fire, and then... We good to go. Right, what have I got next? What I got next, I don't show many people, but this is my favorite lighter. This is my bullet lighter. It also makes the same sound as a cotton gun. It's the last sound you want to hear around here. You know, I wasn't given this and I didn't buy it. I want it in a duel. Well, who did I win it off, you say? Well, that's a long story. It was dawn of the 27th of May, 1852. Yes, that was only last week. But it's my favorite lighter now. Anyway, I was going into the saloon. And a man tips a pint over the back of my hat, right down there. So what did I do while in fire culture if someone was to tip liquid on top of you? Well, that's round here a war crime, punishable by duel, duel with the sheriff. And I never lose. So it's pretty much a death sentence. So we go out on the yard. Waiting for the countdown. To begin. At 12 dawn. We were to draw our pistols. And what do you know. That's the last sound you ever hear. I then walked over to claim my prize, and I got his lighter, best goddamn lighter I ever owned. He was a nice fella in the end anyway. He showed his worth, a man that shows his worth around this town is in my respect. He may have done wrong. Now he's a dead man, but he faced his judgment. And I can only respect that. Right, I believe we may have one more for you, and I think you might like the sound of this one. That's right, we got the butane. And you may be thinking, well, if it's 1852, how the hell have you compressed butane? Well, we just have around here. 
time works a little funny in flame dimension. There is just fire, and then there isn't. Now, do you like the sound of butane? Because we folks love it around here. Sometime we'll wake up in the morning. Start the day with a hit of butane. It really gets the fires roaring inside. That's also the sound we march into war with. Goddamn love the sound. Now you may be thinking I made a goddamn fire and how the hell can I hold a butane can that shouldn't be more than about 40, 50 degrees. Well, this is fire retardant butane. Very special butane. And there I go rambling again about my butane. But that's just a fun way to say. It's just a fun word, butane. Sometimes I love butane more than the wild, wild west. But there ain't nothing wrong with loving a bit of butane. I assure you, I may be made of fire, but I ain't no pyro. I'm an honest, respecting sheriff. I'm a great leader, and people respect my judgment. And if they don't well, it's a duel. I ain't never lost one yet. Anyway, I believe we may be reaching the end of the time here. I think I see in the near distance a brawl in the tavern. And in the tavern, we don't want no brawls. Because when there's a brawl in the tavern, someone's going to get shot. And hence that I'm the sheriff. I might have to shoot some people. Anyway, since you being such a lovely fella, I thought I'd leave you with my lucky jewel lighter. It may only be singular, not dual, but it's the dual lighter. I also won this lighter in a dual. Man, I ain't never bought a lighter in my life. I just simply keep winning them. And I believe that I'm about to go and win some more lighters from that yonder fight over there, so... If you would lovely to just, you know, step out the way, I've got to go deal with a slight... Brawl, so 
I'll see you in the next one.